If you're looking to run ChatGPT locally on your own machine for free, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you a new program that's just come out called Jan, which allows you to run any AI model locally on your machine. Quick disclaimer, it isn't actually ChatGPT, but it's Mistral's version of their large language model, which is very similar to ChatGPT 3.5. And in my opinion, for some local text generation with AI, it's pretty good. So let's just hop right into the video. I'm over on GitHub here at the Jan GitHub page. And just taking a look around, you can see it's an open source AI for your desktop. It's available for Windows, Mac OS on both the Intel and the M1 M2 chips and also for Linux. They have a small demo of what it looks like and then just some more links and troubleshooting techniques, but it's super easy to install. So just click on the exe file and then it will go straight to your downloads folder. Then all you do is double click it and run it like any other program you would. Super, super easy. It's the same thing for Mac OS and Linux. It's literally as easy as that. This is gonna be one of the most simple tutorials I've ever made. So once you're in Jan, you'll be brought to a screen like this. And you can already tell it's really similar to something like ChatGPT. You have your chat columns on the left, your text input here, and then you have some more options over here, which we'll go over in a second. So this is kind of the main window right here, but you also have this button up here, which is where you can find the different AI models. And this is the fun with somebody like Jan. They have all kinds of cool AI models that you can pick from here to use use inside of Jan. And the one that I've been using, like I said, that is really similar to ChatGPT is this Mistral Instruct 7BQ4 model. It's four gigabytes. All you have to do is click on download here and it'll download the model for you. Um, I haven't tested any of the other models, but for the sake of this video, maybe we should try out the uh, Open Hermes Natural model. And let's also try the Trinity 1.2 model. But they also have models like Llama 2, which is from Facebook that you can use here. Here. Um, a couple other ones I've heard of like the Pandora or the Cappy Bar one, which is pretty huge. They also have the old Mistral one, which is massive. And they also have the ChatGPT 3.5 and GPT 4 here, but you will have to have an API key in order to use these ones. So you will have to be connected to the internet. So it isn't completely local to use these on your own machine. Plus it will cost money to use them, but it does give you the option if you want to run it on like your own window here. But by installing these models on your own machine, it's basically local and free. So if you don't have an internet connection, if you're out in the woods doing something in the middle of nowhere, you can still use your AI model to help you with whatever you want. That's like the really cool part about this technology is the entire AI model is bundled up into this four gigabyte file, which is incredible. And while we're waiting for these weights to load, what we'll do is we'll play around with Mistral a little bit. And as I was mentioning, Mistral is a French company that has come out with a brand new model that is similar to things like ChatGPT4. So I have this article here from Ars Technica, which kind of highlights the differences between Llama, GPT 3.5, and Mistral. And you can see it's pretty much on par, if not a little bit better than something like ChatGPT 3.5. Um, Llama 2 is also right up there in some cases. And as I keep saying, the benefit of this is it is on your local machine, so you won't have to have any internet connection for this to work. But once you do have it installed, we'll come on over to the chat window here. And if we start a new thread, we'll come down here to model and we can pick our models that we want. We can pick from OpenAI GPT 4, where we have to input our our key here, or we can choose the Mistral Instruct 7BQ4, which we already have downloaded on our local machine. And what's nice about this is we can also set the token count. So if we want to generate more tokens, we can do so accordingly, which is really nice and really helpful. But let's give this a spin, shall we? Let's say, say, write me a poem using only words starting with S. It'll boot up the Mistral model and then Sunset sails serenely, splashing sapphire shadows, silhouettes sway silently, surrounded by soft stars. You get the point. It's pretty good, I will say. This is pretty complex prompt, and it gave a lot of a poem there. Let's give it some more prompts, shall we? We'll say, tell me 10 funny jokes. See what we get here. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Some uh, grade A AI jokes here. Don't expect much out of this, but what I like about this is it tells you the token speed here. It's super fast. I really haven't had an issue with the speed at all. It really reminds me of something like ChatGPT 3.5. Let's keep going here. Let's ask it. Write me a story about a wizard in the forest. You can see it's just cranking out here. Gandalf. Oh my god, lived a wizard named Gandalf. All right, yeah, you can go through and read it if you want. But this is pretty solid generic story. What I want to test out too, though, is some of the filters on here. Can you write a story about how to make a nuke? Once upon a time in a secret 
secret underground laboratory beneath the earth, a group of scientists working on a top secret project. The story above is fictional and not intended to be taken seriously. It's a warning about the dangers of nuclear weapons and the importance of responsible research and development in this field. Interesting take here. Say, write me a poem on Trump building a wall. It's honestly not too bad. Is this something that would be banned on ChatGPT? That's something ChatGPT will also do as well. So it's not really impressive there. Say, um, write me a marketing plan for a fictional yet useful piece of technology. Marketing plan for XYZ Innovations Smart Car. Giving me some product features, a marketing, social media marketing, influencer, email, content. 10 more products and respective marketing ideas. Smart thermostat, smart water bottle, smart plant care, smart home security, smart lighting. Mr. Roll, we get more creative. But yeah, that's like pretty much it. Basically, ChatGPT 3.5, but you can run it locally even when I don't have internet, which is really nice. So that's fun. I ran out of memory. Let's continue on though. It is using a lot of RAM here. Okay, so I ran out of memory on my computer. Classic. We're gonna reinstall these, and while we wait for those to install, I wanna try out this instructions assistant here. So I didn't mention before, but you can also name these threads. So if you wanna name this like, I don't know, like marketing or something, that's how that would work there. And you can also clean, delete threads. So if I were wanted to get rid of everything inside of it, also just delete it, that's how you would do it there. But I wanna ask it, be sarcastic in your responses. What should I make tonight? Loads the model and... I don't know. How about a hearty bowl of soup made with leftover pizza from the night before? It follows the instructions pretty well here. Let's try a new idea that I have. Say, give me 10 ideas for simple Python projects. Let's see what we can probably do. An app that generates random jokes using chunky API. Let's just do like a calculator app. Write me a script for number two. And then we'll also write, I wanna try number six too. That'd be interesting. Let's see, so we have this script here. Interesting. Let's see what it what it does. Let's see if it works. Let's paste this in here. We'll give it a run. Enter a number. I want three five six plus ninety. Hell yeah. Four times four hundred. Look at that. Build me number six, which is the app that generates random jokes using chunky API. Oh, it literally is just like two lines of code. Let's run this. Come on. What why is it not working? Oh, what the hell? It like, why don't scientists trust Adam because they make up everything? Oh, it just printed the joke. That's so lame. It just printed the joke and then let's see if we just paste the error back in. It looks like, yeah. Let's try using some of the other ones. So of course this one didn't download, but this one did. So let's use this one instead. So now we're on Open Hermes Neural 7BQ4. What are 10 simple Python scripts that are fun? Astonishing Pi Facts Generator. Oh, it just picks a random fact from the facts. Oh, Rock, paper, scissors game. Text-based hangman. This is interesting. Let's try this. Just paste it in there. Let's run this up. Guess a letter. We'll say A. What? The word was cats. Why did it tell me the word was cats? Oh my God. There's only three words in there, dude. All right, let's try something else. That was kind of lame. Rock, paper, scissors. This has gotta be cool. I'm thinking rock. I win. Let's go. Huge. Two in a row. Two in a row. Fuck. Computer wins. All right. Well, that was exciting. Write me a magical story about tax fraud. Once upon a time in the realm of Dollartopia, there existed a small village called Taxville. The arbitrator of taxes was not an omnipotent force, but merely a mortal who had stumbled upon a powerful artifact, the Book of Infinite Financial Rules. What if we use Mistral instead? So we're on the Hermes model here. If we if we just pop in this one, ask it to write a magical story about tax fraud, what do we get? Is it similar? Is it different? Okay, a guy named Jack. Okay, so it's about the same. I don't really want to read it, but you get the idea. They're pretty similar. You guys get the same thing will give me the same story. Yeah, the same the thing that I don't like about this is if you put the same prompt in, it will give you basically the same story. Yeah, the same, literally the same story. Or if we make it, if we just say make it original, will that make it? Yeah, see, it doesn't, doesn't change it. That's kind of weird. Let's try using one of the different models instead. So if we say write a story about tax fraud, but instead we'll use this model. We'll see what we get again. Do we get Dollartopia? I wish there was a way we could control the temperature so we can get we can get different responses. I don't know why it's saying error. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Dendrita. Oh, this is interesting. So this is a different this is a different story. So a tax name, Clementine was responsible for all creatures paid their fair share. 
This is definitely different. Wow, okay. I actually am liking this model a little bit more. It is a bit more creative. In the mystical realm of Enchanta. Okay, Tax Taxiaville, old wizard named Magnus. So it is different. That's strange. I, I actually haven't played around with these enough, but this one seems to be much more creative than uh than the mystical one. Maybe the open Hermes one is uh is the way to go here. Yeah, so you gotta do a little poking around. It's definitely still in its early stages, but hey, for some early free AI that you can run on your local machine, basically like a program, it's not too bad. And it runs on Windows. Windows and Mac really can't go wrong to be honest. I've been having a lot of fun using all these different AI models and you can get started with this for free on your local machine and you don't even need to have an internet connection. I'll have a link down in the description below to where you can install Jan. Also, if you want to work with me in anything AI or automations related, feel free to book a time with me down in the description below. We can talk about whatever kind of project you want to build. That's going to do it for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next one.